A group of Democratic lawmakers has reintroduced a joint resolution to negate a clause in the 13th Amendment of the Constitution that permits slavery or involuntary servitude as a punishment for crime the abolition amendment was introduced on Wednesday ahead of Juneteenth THC the national holiday commemorating the end of slavery C by Sen Jeff Merkley of Oregon Sen Cory Booker of New Jersey and Rep Nike Ma Williams of Georgia the 13th amendment presently says neither slavery nor involuntary servitude except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction the new resolution would clarify neither slavery nor involuntary servitude may be imposed as a punishment for a crime the resolution would not seek to interfere with opportunities for incarcerated people to consent to work its sponsors said it has no easy task to amend the Constitution see the resolution would require a two-thirds vote in both houses of Congress before it is sent to the states where at least 38 legislatures would need to approve it for ratification C and the effort to erase the slavery exception has failed in previous congressional sessions but advocates are encouraged by recent state level efforts to amend their constitutions to remove the exception the reality of that narrow exception is that it has impacted millions of people because slavery is still very much legal as criminal punishment but I think at the root of it we really are sort of centered on this idea that slavery is always wrong there is no circumstance under which it is okay to enslave someone said Bianca Tylek the executive director of worth rises a nonprofit that is campaigning to negate the clause from the 13th Amendment, those pushing the legislation told CNN that most Americans Don T. relies the loophole in the 13th Amendment in a news release. They said that the slavery clause led to higher rates of arrests among black Americans for minor crimes, like loitering or vagrancy, codified in black codes throughout the Jim Crow era. The resolution as sponsors said the clause in anti-IVI said minor crime convictions and drove the over-incarceration of black Americans on infamous prison plantations like Parkman in Mississippi and Angola in Louisiana so anyone who wants to be in a work program that is currently incarcerated this would not change that Williams told CNN this would not force any level of payment because they were not being forced into these programs, but we absolutely need to live up to what our country sees that we stand for and end the exception for slavery once and for all asked by CNN if the latest effort will garner bipartisan support. Merkley said, There has been a sense that this is really something that needs to be fixed, but their ISNT kind of the urgency of like a debt ceiling problem, or a health care bill or something of that nature to me this is urgent it s unacceptable that our constitution allows slavery it s way past time to remedy this clause he added the movement to end the exception is also taking place on a statewide level as the caveat is included in some state constitutions in november voters in alabama vermont Oregon and Tennessee approved a measure to read the punishment clause once and for all. While a similar measure failed in Louisiana, Merkley told CNN that the statewide efforts give legitimacy to the conversation about expunging it from the 13th Amendment.